Ibute. Good morning, viewers. My name is Chris Ibute. You're welcome to this channel once again. Um, today I want to talk about formula for playing major scale patterns. Formula for playing major scale patterns. Major scale is a very important scale to to learn, especially as a beginner. It is uh, it's very important because the major scale actually tells you the notes that are they are tonic to a particular key or it tells you the notes that belong to a particular key it is actually the, the notes in the major scale that you use to you know construct your your chords especially the beginners kind of chords so it's very important that you know your major scale and it's also very important that you know the principles the formula that you can use the formula that tells you the pattern of major scale now, before I go on, I'd like to talk about tones and semitones because I'll actually use it to explain the pattern. Semitone is the shortest, the smallest distance in music. For instance, we are in, the, in this key, moving to the next key is actually an interval of a semitone, the smallest distance in music. That's just a semitone and it's also called half step. The next one is tones. Tone, tone simply means two half steps. That means from here to here, that is semitone. And then that and that is a half step and then another half step so from here this note to this note is a tone a tone interval so now you know the meaning of semitone and tone tone semitone is half step tone is whole step which is two half steps or whole step all right now let's go into the the formula for playing the major scale now the formula is simply whole step whole step half step whole step whole step whole step half step or tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone yeah so that's just it so let's put it into practice now okay let's use the key of c now we want to get the c major scale we want to be able to know the c major scale using this formula or this principle now this is c the principle say give us a tone a tone is a whole step movement a whole step movement is two half steps so one two of course if you are moving in intervals if you're talking about intervals or tones and semitones when it has to do with intervals you are not going to say one tone two tones no it's a movement you have to move before you start counting you have to move before you start counting so we get a tone one two two half steps gives you a tone or a whole step we need one more because it's stop tone tone before semitone so we need one more tone one two we've gotten two tones now so the next thing is what semitone semitone is a smallest movement is a whole is a is a half step movement just so what it means is you just move to the next key and then we need three tones so the, let's get the first tone one two this is the first tone one two the second tone one two the third tone and then the last thing there is a semitone semitone half step movement just move to the next key so now these notes are the notes in the c major scale so it goes like this these are the notes in the c major scale we using using this pattern we're able to derive the notes in c major scale yeah so that's it the formula is whole tone uh, whole step whole step half step whole step whole step whole step half step or tone tone semitone tone 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 semitones you can even use numbers knowing that a tone is 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 uh, is uh, is ha two half step you can so two two one two 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 and one whichever way that you can remember so that is it so let's get a, let's get to another key let's go to the key of d so now let's get the major scale now let's get the let's use that same principle to get the notes of this D major scale. So the key of D, it said half uh, a tone, right? So one, two, another tone, one, two, semitone, three tones. Let's start with the first one, one, two, one, two more, one, two, one more, one, two, and then a semitone. So these are the notes in the D major scale. So let's go like this. We have used that principle to derive our notes in the D major scale. So we have used it to get our D major scale. Let's try it on another key. Maybe the black key. Let's say F sharp. So let's proceed. The first thing is a tone. One, two. 
another tone, one, two, and the uh, semitone, three tones. The first tone is one, two, the second tone is one, two, the third tone, one, one, two, and then. So these are the notes in the F sharp major scale. It goes like this. So that's just it. Using the principle, we have used it, we have used that principle to get our F sharp major scale. Let's try let, the major scale. Let's try another key. Uh, let's say the key of D or B. We have done D. Let's do B. So let's get a tone one two. So the key of B, right? So write down B, a tone, and then, and then, this is a half step. Then we have three tones now: one, two, three, and then a tone. So these are the notes in B major scale. So it's B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and. So that's it. Now let's can we maybe we should do one more uh, one more key. Let's get major scale of one more key. Uh, let's say let's say let's say the key of D sharp. D sharp. So this is D sharp. Write D sharp down. The next is what one two. That's F. Another tone before a semitone. One two. Then a semitone. And uh, we have three tones now. So the first tone is one two. Second tone. Third tone and then the semitone. So the so this is it. D sharp, F, G, G sharp, A sharp, C, D, and D sharp. That is the major scale of D sharp. So that is it. Use this principle to be able to 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 get your major scale in any key. Use this principle to derive your major scale on any key. Yeah, so that is it now. Now, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about major scales and fingering. Now you know the formula that you can use to play the major scale pattern. Now, the next class, I'm going to be talking about major scales and fingering of major scales. Giving you, telling you the right fingers to use. It's very important that you use the right fingers so that because of your speed, if you use the wrong fingers, it will affect your speed in playing scales. But using the right fingers help you to... Uh, use to, to increase in speed. Thank you so much. I'd like you to subscribe so that you can get subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can be getting subsequent videos. And uh, also if you like anything about this video, I'd like you to give me a thumbs up. God bless you for that. And uh, okay. So see you in the next video. Have a nice time.